in this lecture we are going to learn about the memory management in C okay so basically how your code uses the memory so we will learn about two kinds of memories one is the stack another one is your heap so what happens when you write a piece of code so the memory assigned to it is something like this the first is the code segment so where all your instructions like if I'm writing the C code so all these instructions are stored here then whatever are the global and static variables that I have defined so those will be stored here okay so that's there then we have the stack which is very important so stack is the memory where you have all the local variables all the functions when we call the functions the arguments that we pass okay the values that we return and the local variables inside the function they are all stored on this stack memory another is the free store or called the heap where you have dynamically allocated memory so let's try to see how these pieces work together okay so in fact let us define i have this piece of code but let's try to say that okay we have this as int here okay int b is equal to 2 such that this is a global memory instead of this place i have int b is equal to 2 so it will be defined here int b is equal to 2 so this goes into the global memory then what happens the stack is very important because let's see this one comes here okay so stack what happens if the first function that is called is main so main function will we will have here and here we define a lot of variables so like we define b4 okay and what happens now we call a function double square b so now this is a stack and it acts also like a stack last in and the first out so that is stack lifo lifo so now what happens is that we have double square so i will just write a ds here double square then we get a argument z here we have temp okay and then we have return square of temp okay but when so the things are ds in z is there so for this function and then again i call square of z so this square is now called so i will just write sq for it and here it passes a x to it okay so that is done it makes a temp also here okay so temp is there it returns the temp it comes here to this line double square so this temp is evaluated and when i return back basically everything goes away so this thing is pushed out of the stack okay but again if you see this again in return i call square of temp so again another call to square is made with temp which is again a x will be stored there so this goes again and it has temp this again calculates and returns temp the square function here if you see we return to d as double square and again what happens this is all deleted so this goes out of the stack it is popped out then let's try to see what is happening with the ds double square function returns back so this will return back to main and we will come to this part okay b4 is double square so we have b4 here and this returns so we will remove all these okay so this is popped out of the stack and it comes to main then what happens in main we have b3 also we define we define b3 and we call cube of b so it goes to cube and we have a copy y here and it does have local variable loc it does y into y into y it returns local so when this line is executed and it run, returns back it comes again here and again popping everything out of stack okay 
so b3 is done cube of b now let's try to see now we call b7 is there and b7 is b4 into b3 this is done here itself in the main then we have printf so again printf is function is called with b7 and so this is done and finally we return 0 so printf after it returns from printf everything goes back from here and then what happens b7 printf is also done then basically main also is done and global memory okay so b was a global memory so it is inside this global memory here okay so we will have a b here all the time and when the code goes back everything is removed okay so this is also basically cleaned so when this is cleaned so you have nothing now here also everything is gone so your stack is clean now when the code is done so this is where your stack works so to summarize so we had when the function was called it was pushed onto the stack when it returned it was popped off from the stack so it worked like a stack data structure but now what is heap okay so one thing we should note is that your stack the memory is fixed okay so let's say your operating system when a uh, function uh, program starts or thread starts it says that okay i will allocate 1 mb or 2 mb memory to your stack so the thing is if you write a function void f u n c function and again call okay so in fact you pass something so we have int x okay and then function let's say i do 2 into x or simply x also and from main if i call this function with let's say some value 3 so what will happen now if you will see your stack is limited and main will be there first function main it will call function and in fact let's say it was 2x just for difference so it will call function with argument 3 this in turn will call function with 2x so function with 2 into 3 6 this will now call function again which will recursively it will call function 12 which in turn will call let's write function as f so 2 into 12 24 then it will call f 2 into 24 so 48 then f of 2 into 48 so something like what how much 96 then it will call 188 is it 96 2 6 is 12 192 okay and then this will call again f of and it is 384 but now what if now i try to call function so it will basically now you have no stack memory left okay so there's nothing left and this is known as stack overflow so you have smashed your stack so nothing is left in your stack no memory is available so this is the thing that will happen if you write a infinite recursion okay there are many other ways if you are calling a stack using stack with very large variables so let's say i define int say long int a something like 100k 100k into 100k okay so this is such a huge memory requirement will be there okay that your stack by defining this variable itself your stack will be full okay and then it will be done your code will not run it will crash so what to do for these kind of so in reality you might need a piece of code which uses such three-dimensional array 
so how will you handle this so there comes heap so heap is there heap memory or a free store that is not really limited it can increase it has a lot of memory and where what happens is now when you write a piece of code so let's try to see so i had something a very big array i want so what i will do i will use the free store and what will i do is i will to use it i have to call functions like malloc okay or c alloc so these are the things that i need to call so for example i need to call int star p is equal to m alloc okay so very big 1000k into size of int okay so if i do this and let's say type, type cast it also int star m alloc so this much so what will happen now is that there will be the heap memory okay and in that basically some part of it so let's say it was starting at 200 memory location so lot of ints uh, ints the amount of space equal to 1000k ints will be allocated here and you can use so basically you will have the base address which is stored here in p okay and then now you can access this heap so basically this is now a kind of array here okay on the heap so p is the base address so if i do it a little bit smaller for explanation so let's say it is 100 memory allocations i have so 200 and let's say int is 4 byte so there are 100 into 4 memory locations will be used so 400 so something like around 600 will be the end of your array so now what happens is when i do p i will get the first memory location of the first integer p plus 1 for the second one p plus 2 for the third one and in fact so you can so this is the way and you can do p0 p1 p2 till p of 99 to access those memory values there so for example if i do star p is equal to 5 so 5 will be stored here and then at 204 if i do p of 1 is equal to 6 so 6 will be stored here okay so it's kind of a array now okay integer array so this is there and then what happens is that now you have to when your code is done you need to free it because like stack when the function goes out of scope this does not go out of scope so you need to do free p such that this memory is released by the os okay and that's important also so this is the heap so when you have to do use memory large amount of memory okay and something that does not go out of scope after the function you need to use the heap however this heap does not resemble with the heap data structure okay so this is just a huge amount of memory and that's why they say it's a heap so i hope you understand what is stack and what is heap memory okay so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and tell it to all your friends thank